Uh, hi all, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So today we are going to discuss about back-to-back uh, -back, uh, sales order along with a manufacturing item. So I have logged in with uh, SCM IMPL, Supply Chain Implementation User. So who is having access uh, to order management and uh, inventory management and work execution work areas. Okay, so you select the order management and select the order management application. So in overview page, click on create order. So select a business unit as US1 business unit. And uh, select uh, the customer as a computer and service rental. So as soon as you select the customer, so the bill to customer help count ship to customer ship address gets defaulted. Okay. So as I said, like uh, I'm going to enter the manufacturing item. So I'm going to select the item AT six seven five one triple zero. Click on search, and this particular manufacturing item is a configurable item. So you have to configure this particular model. So if it is a configure item, so you'll uh, see the you know configure and uh, add button. So you just click on uh, click this button and start uh, the configuration. Okay, so plan to use Skype or video conferencing and conferencing. I'm selecting it as yes. Plan to watch a lot of videos, yes. And the plan to store your video library on the tablet, yes. And connectivity will be uh, Wi Fi. And I'll select uh, the tablet color as black, ignite black. Okay, so then go next to select uh, the tablet options. Like a screen will be a 10 inch and CPU will be quad core 2.5 gigahertz. Memory will select as 2 GB. Storage. So, if you see the star option, this is a recommended option, but like you know, from storage, I just want to select the 32 GB. Just want to show you. Okay. So, the item 32 GB is currently excluded, but I want to continue with this item. So, I'm clicking on yes. Okay. So connectivity here, yeah, Wi-Fi along with the uh, Bluetooth, camera primary 8 MP and secondary 1.2 MP, battery will select 3.8 volts and uh, go next to select the accessories such as cases. So case I am going to select the uh, red 10 laser case, screen protectors, 10 screen protectors and uh, I am not going to select the earphones and headsets and it is not uh, mandatory. Okay. Just click on uh, finish and review. So this is the model under which are the these are the option classes. Under the option classes, this is the option which we have selected. Okay. So now the total amount is five thirty one dollars. So just click on OK. Okay. So now we have uh, configured the item. So just click on save to generate uh, the sales order uh, number. Okay, nine seven three eight five sales order is uh, created. This is my sales order number. And uh, before going to submit, I want to validate to make sure that uh, the options which I have selected for this model is correct or not, and the details which I have entered is correct or not. So, order validation is completed without error. Just click on OK and submit the sales order. So sales order was submitted, I just click on OK and just give a refresh. So uh, the status it is showing it as not started. Okay, so instead of uh, waiting for uh, the you know, status to be changed, what we will do is go to actions and uh, switch to fulfillment here to see the fulfillment status. Okay, so, so fulfillment aligned, this is the fulfillment line. And uh, we'll see the warehouse. Okay. So warehouse still not defaulted. Just we'll click on refresh. Okay. Now warehouse is uh, defaulted as zero zero two. So this is uh, by using uh, global order promising and uh, the sourcing rules which. Uh, we have uh, set up in the system. 
right so now warehouse is uh, defaulted we'll see the supply details okay so th since this is a back to back uh, sales order that's why like you know you are seeing uh, the back to back option here and here uh, the supply order number has to be generated and it is uh, not generated yet just we we'll click on refresh until the order number is generated so now the status got changed to fulfillment line status is got changed to awaiting shipping and uh, click refresh okay so now the supply order number is uh, generated okay you just click on uh, the supply order number okay so here if you see uh, the configurator item and uh, we will call it as a star item so star item is generated with supply type as milk which means this item has to be manufactured in the warehouse 002 okay so and uh, here like uh, we have uh, the orchestration plan okay this is a supply uh, orchestration and a work order is created and uh, if you go to since it is a manufacturing item we will directly go to the uh, make and from here we will see the work order number okay so this is the work order number 10454 and created by the system automatically and the uh, uh, WAP status like uh, now the work order status is released okay so So work order number 1054 is generated okay so now what we will do is we will open the another screen and directly we will go to the work execution okay so from where we have to execute our uh, work order so i'll go to the supply chain execution and from here i'll go to work execution so here uh, from the task pane you select uh, manage work order and search for your work order number click search okay so now in the search results your work order is displayed and the current status is released so you just click on the work order okay so go to general information and uh, in general information if you go to details here you have a back to back uh, checkbox is checked which means this particular web job is created against a back-to-back -back, uh, uh, sales order for uh, the work orders which are created manually you don't have uh, this option okay so now you know what uh, this is the back to, uh, this web job is uh, created as part of uh, the back-to-back -back order and you want to see against uh, which sales order this particular web job is created so what you can do is click on re uh, reservations and from here under the demand section you can see your sales order and number okay so cancel now from task pen you select uh, review dispatch list uh, our sales order number is 1054 right so just uh, select this particular uh, web job and uh, if you see this this is the work order number followed by the operation sequence number okay so just select click on complete with the details okay so uh, here I am not going to discuss about the function. This is just to show you the back to back uh, sales order along with the manufacturing item. Okay. Just click on uh, um, next backslash material where uh, you will issue the material against the web job. You just click on next and uh, just close save and uh, close. Okay. So now uh, if you see against a work order uh, again you have another uh, a step like work order number followed by the operation sequence number 60 okay select this again uh, complete with uh, details so and if you see this is the last step you have a uh, additional uh, a step here uh, again as a inventory in comparing with your previous step just click on next next and uh, you see the inventory is like when you're finished uh, good you're going to store it in uh, sub inventory called completed sub inventory okay so click on save and close okay click 
click on done okay now the earlier uh, status uh, web gap status is released after this uh, we have completed all the operation sequences and financially produced a finished food right now click on search and we will see what is the current status of this particular web job we need to select the status as all click on search so now your web job is uh, completed right okay now we'll uh, go to manage order and uh, we are in supply order details team right so click on refresh okay so it will take uh, some time to change the status to complete okay now if you see your web job uh, status is uh, completed okay so now the finished good is available in your completed uh, sub inventory so what is the next step we have to do we have to do the picking and uh, shipping okay so i am going to the uh, uh, amazon mint landing page and uh, i'll click on uh, the login again as i said the same user is having access to order management inventory management and work order execution so from supply chain execution i'll go to inventory management select the task pane and i'll uh, select uh, the task as shipment i'm going to do the you know picking and shipping in one single step so here uh, you can uh, perform in uh, different ways but like uh, this is the easiest uh, way to do the complete uh, this uh, shipping part to complete this particular shipping part go to shipment and click on uh, manage shipment lines okay and uh, here uh, you can search for your sales order number 97385 click search okay so edit shipment line uh, the uh, summary details got displayed over here okay so now what you will do is uh, you and click on uh, the actions and uh, do the pick release first okay so pick release is done and it has submitted a concurrent program click on ok okay now what we will do is we will do the ship confirm so click on the ship confirm okay i think uh, still other uh, programs are running uh, we'll just uh, wait for it okay now continue we we'll try to do the ship confirm okay the shipment delivery number is generated and it was confirmed so now my shipping part is also completed so line status it is showing it as uh, shipped and integration status is confirmed right so now we will uh, go to go back uh, to the you know manage orders okay so if you click uh, here uh, the refresh so go to orchestration and see that uh, fulfillment uh, has to be completion uh, fulfillment completion step has to be completed uh, by the in uh, supply order details uh, screen then only your uh, line status gets changed to the shipped okay so let's click on refresh so if you see now the task fulfillment completion is also completed click on done we'll go back and uh, see what is the sales order line status see here uh, it uh, fulfillment uh, line status it is changed to shipped so okay we'll click on done and we'll see in main sales order screen okay so now if you see uh, the status uh, now it's got changed to awaiting billing which means uh, the records are pushed into air interface and uh, to create uh, the AR invoice okay so if you want to see the you know full order to cash flow uh, I have made uh, another uh, demo so you can watch this video where which is having uh, the full end-to-end -end cycle for uh, the order to cash okay so thanks for uh, watching this video and uh, if you like uh, this video please like comment and uh, subscribe okay thank you